So, Shannon, who is most to blame for the Cowboys' loss? The $75 million man. Mm -hmm. Because Skip Bellis has told me, I, and, all the, uh, and, and Jerry says, hey, Mike McCarthy is doing a great job with clock management, although I can I can debate that, Skip. In the second quarter, Skip, late in the ballgame, when you got two timeouts and you're still scrambling, you should have called one of those timeouts. Dak throws an interception. Um, uh, uh, CeeDee Lamb bangs his head. He's lost for the entirety of the second half. But, Skip, this was Dak Prescott's opportunity to show go head-to-head -head with a big gun, Patrick Mahomes. He did a very good job, but he came up short going against Brady. Now, he's had an opportunity this year to go up against three big guns. He's 2-1. and one. He did a good job against uh, um, Justin Herbert. We saw what he did. He was phenomenal last night, Skip. But this was Dak's opportunity. I don't want to hear anything about who wasn't there. Doesn't matter about that because Aaron Rodgers went to went on a short week to Arizona without his top three weapons, missing offensive linemen, missing defensive players, and came away with a victory. So don't tell me about Ty Smith. I don't want to hear about Amari. I don't want to hear about CD going out of the ball game. Mm -hmm. He gets paid as a big game quarterback, so he got to deliver big game performances. Nine points, Skip Bayless. He couldn't even get the ball in the end zone. 0 for 2 in the red zone with an opportunity to get tubs, and he come away with nine points. Mm. The defense was did their part because he turned the ball over late early, mm -hmm. and the defense says, nah, nah, you're not getting in the end zone. Mm -hmm. You're not going to get there. Picked him off, strip sack. No, no, the defense was phenomenal. This is Now you tell me this is the number one offense in football, the number one scoring offense, and I've always said this. I'm a firm believer in this. It does not matter where you're ranked. Can you do what you need to do when you have to do it. Well, you just need it. How about give us 16? You average 32, give us 16 and put some pressure on Kansas City. Mm. You average 455 a game. Can you give us 350? Mm. He couldn't do any of that yesterday. First half stat, stats for Dak Prescott. 13 of 21, 68 yards, an interception. 3.2 yards per attempt. Is that worth 75 million? Well, let's go to the third quarter. 7 of 10, 70 yards. Really, Skip? Mm. And then the fourth quarter, game's out of hand. Yep, the calories again. 8 of 12, 78 yards of INT. Now, they keep telling me they left Dak in in a blowout against the Broncos to get some timing. They tell me they left him in against the Falcons to get some timing. Okay. Mm. Timing should have been on point. Mm. Started the game, what did he do with Michael Gallup? Mm. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is why I would refuse to concede the division to you. Because I told you it was just going to oh, be a matter. You, you were close. No, 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 no. At one point, you did. I said, no, 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 no. I knew it was just going to be a matter of time mm -hmm. that Cowboys yeah. would do Cowboy things. It's not over yet. I was actually like Jerry Reinsdorf with Scottie Pippen. No, 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 don't sign it. Don't <laughs> sign it. I, I had to talk you out of <laughs> oh, I'm conceding glad you did. that bet. I'm glad you did. Thank you. Now. I got a good, I got, you know, I got a, a, a hunch or a feeling that you're not going to mention this, so I feel I give it to her at Have home. Have I spoken yet? Yeah, no, 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 I'm just saying, I got a feeling. Yeah. I, I don't even say what you're going to say. Mm. I just say I got a feeling. Well, the show's almost over. No, 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 no. Don't... You know, I'm, I'm going to turn to you right here. Here's the skip. QBR. Pro, pro football mm -hmm. focus said QBR mm -hmm. on a scale of 0 to 100. Yep. 100 being the high, 0 is the bottom. You want to know what Dak Prescott? I know exactly what it was. Tell the people that home did. It was a big old 1 0. A what? 10. A 10. A 10. That's one tenth of 100, right? Ooh. That's what it was. He was a 10, and I, I'm not even sure he deserved the 10. Oh. So I was it, surprised he got it that high. Well, if you were, I mean, you, you got a Vanderbilt degree. You mm -hmm. know, the Harvard or the South. That's yep. what you call it. Mm -hmm. If you were great. Actually, Harvard is the Vanderbilt <laughs> of the North. Go ahead. Okay. Yes. So if you got to get that right. Okay. If you're a professor. And, you, and, and, and Dak Prescott handed this test in, and you graded it. What kind of grade would you give it? Mm. I would give him a D minus. No, 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 that's failure. No, 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 mm. no, no. I mean, you know what? That's a shame. That's a, that's an embarrassing skill. Okay. All right. I'll give him an F. Okay, that's what you, you want to give him. I'll give him an F. He did a thing or two here or there that was pretty good, and I. I do think he had about five drops yesterday, mm -hmm. in part because Amari wasn't there. But is it now my turn? Are you officially done? Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Big picture takeaway by, over what I saw yesterday from my Dallas Cowboys was this game hit me like a LeBron James sucker punch <laughs> right in the face. It cut my eye. It bloodied my nose. It opened up my lips. I needed monkey butt powder after this yeah. game to just soothe my ch chafed behind. <laughs> the point was, 
I got hit double shot. I, I, I took I took it double. I, it, it, it was a blindsided number one and blindsided number two because the blindside number one was my defense that you have completely written off yeah. as below average, as exposed, played its tail they off played, once again. They played well. They played really well. My defense led by Micah Parsons and as Dorrance Armstrong said after the game, he is a monster. Yeah. He, he is a flat-out monster. Mm -hmm. He had two more sacks. Force and, fumble. And without him... I, I just don't even know if they could have stayed on the field, but they did stay on the field mm -hmm. because if you told me before the game that my defense could hold Patrick Mahomes to 19 points at Arrowhead, mm -hmm. high decibel Arrowhead where they despise the Dallas Cowboys almost as much as they probably do any of their division foes. Yeah. And, and yet, as ecstatic as I was by that, if only my quarterback – could have played like my rookie defensive end. And let's be clear about this. He's a defensive end, and <laughs> I've been just banging the desk over here. You just got to line him up on the edge. If he wants to put his hand down, he can. If he wants to stand up, as he did mostly yesterday, he can. He is an edge rusher. Yes. He is Von Miller. Yeah, he is Charles Haley. He is that guy. Right. And he's still a baby, but, but he is a handful of a baby. Right. And he was just figuring it out on the fly, and he said after the game, I'm still learning. Well, yeah, he's still learning. He's also the driving force of my 2021 defense, and I think he is right in the middle of the debate for defensive player of the year, yeah. not just defensive rookie. If only my quarterback could have played like Micah did, maybe we would have stolen this oh, game. Oh, you definitely would have won. But to your points, and I cannot disagree with any point you made about Dakota Rain Prescott, the $75 million man for the second time in the last three games, played like he's worth 75 cents. Yeah. And I was dumbfounded, blindsided by it because I didn't see it coming. I didn't see it coming against Denver, and yet I chalked it up and wrote it off as they just weren't ready. They right. were overconfident, and they had a bad day at the office because they did not take Denver seriously right. enough. And Dak validated what I thought. He came right back against Atlanta and threw a virtuoso, mm -hmm. albeit at the Falcons, but the Falcons had just won at New Orleans, 27 to 25. Right. So I put some stock in that. And all I heard all week was, this could be, said Jerry Jones, a hallmark win for my team. And I said, okay, I don't really want you to say it, but sure, it would be right. a hallmark win. Right. If Dak went up and outplayed Mahomes as I thought he would, I predicted he would have a better QBR than Patrick Mahomes, which is now laughable. Mahomes didn't have a very good day. Look at his QBR. QBR. What was it? It's below 50. It's yeah. like 46, yes. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so 46 is scale 0 to 100. So he had a below average day for any quarterback. And yet, my quarterback, to your point, started off the game with a throw that I believe lost the football game. If we could see the very first play of the game, Michael Gallup over there, uh, Sneed falls down. And this is, I, I don't know if it would have been a home run. I don't know if it would have been a touchdown. But it would have been, been a big game. Yeah. Just a big game. you got to make this throw. Yeah. And he airmails him by about five yards. And if you hit him in stride, Gallup's a long strider once he gets unwound. I don't know. If you hit him right in stride, maybe he can beat the safety. Right. M maybe he can knock him down. May maybe with a full head of steam. I don't know what happens. Mm -hmm. All I know is that sets the tone for a very different football right. game. So three plays later, it's third down. And what happens? It's now third and two at the 34. And if we can see the next play, Dak actually throws a sweet ball for a first down and hits Noah Brown, number 85, right in the hands. And Noah Brown is replacing, oh, yeah, Amari Cooper. Don't get me started on unvaccinated Amari Cooper, <laughs> who is also going to miss Thursday's Thanksgiving Day, Day game against the visiting Las Vegas Raiders. Right. Don't get me started on that because we're going to get started <laughs> on it a little later in the show. But those two plays set the Cowboys back on their heels and they never recovered because Kansas City was about to lead wire to wire. Right. So Kansas City took the ball 86 yards in eight plays and went right down and Andy Reid said, watch this. I'm yeah, you like, you like, you're going to I'm going to run a little pistol with yeah. Kelsey. As, uh, we're going to snap it straight to Kelsey and he's going to be flanked by two running backs with one behind him. He's That's my whole devil behind him. 
I know, he's going to fake it, and he's going to keep it and blast it up the middle. Yeah, Andy, yeah. I am impressed. You are a genius. Yeah, you got it. You, it's on full display, and all of a sudden, it's six to nothing because Butker missed the extra point, which shocked me. But I thought, okay, maybe, maybe, this, yeah. maybe, maybe this has got a chance. And then what happens? Frank Clark strips Dak Prescott, if we could see this, and I just don't want to hear about it. If, if you're worth $75 million, you, you can't let this happen this early in the game. You, you're not careful with the football. You don't protect it. And all of a sudden, they have it down at your 20 yard well, line. Skip, I, I don't know why you're blaming uh, Dak on that one. What the hell is Terrence still doing? Don't know. He's been pretty good so far, but he just, <laughs> he whiffed the assignment. Yeah, yeah like he didn't snap. The yeah. snap. He missed the snap. Uh, okay, he missed the snap in the high <laughs> decibel era. Yeah, it'll get loud. And. All of a sudden, they've got the ball, and my defense holds. Oh. And I couldn't believe it. I'm, I'm thinking, you just held to keep it nine to nothing. I'm thinking, okay, maybe we've got a chance. And then comes Dallas's best offensive play the whole day. To your point, this is the number one most explosive offense in professional football. And what happens? Tony Pollard requires a trick play, if we could see this, to get loose for 31 yards. And this is our best play of the day. It's a trick play, a fake reverse back to Dak, and he gets loose. And I thought he was gone for a second. Safety made a nice play to mm -hmm. catch up, but this is direct snap to him. A Good wild thing that was fake. Thornhill. Yep. I think it was Thornhill. That was, because you and, know it had been 49, that would have been a touchdown. Yeah, and <laughs> that's right. You don't <laughs> like Sorensen. Yeah, yeah. Okay. you know what would have yeah. happened. Okay, and maybe if he gets in the end zone, that works, because yeah. I'm thinking, okay, here we go. We, yeah. we got this. You're right, Skip, but if you get in the end zone now, as poorly as you played up until that point, I, it's you, a 9-7 ball yeah. game. all of a sudden, it's going to go a little quieter at right. Arrowhead. But it got to third and five at the 10-yard line, and to your point, they were 0 for 2 in the red zone, but it's third and five at the 10. And my man, Lyle Collins, who's played it, at a Pro Bowl level, false starts. There he is. You, you can't do it. Yeah. You're not ready to play on the road at Arrowhead. If you're Get that loud. team, if you're the team I thought, if you're special, if this is going to be your breakthrough, breakout year, you can't do that at that moment because it is death. It is fatal because yeah. you got to get it in the end zone there right. to just show that, that we can stand up. Right. And instead, no. They're not going to convert third and 10, right? And they didn't convert third and 10 from the 15. Right. And they had to take a 33-yard field goal to make it 9-3, to three, right? Yep. Okay. Then we come down to the end of the half. And I, I do – I'm not going to kill McCarthy, Joel, drop the mic, Mike. But, again, he just let them go because it was going full speed and, and they were playing fast. Mm -hmm. They were playing fast break. And instead of calling a timeout to break the momentum, I didn't have a problem with him. Just let it go, let it go, let it go. And so what happens on the – it's first and 10 at the 28 with 20 seconds left. And Dak gets greedy and he's got CD in man and – he. oh, this is uh, – oh, I'm sorry. This is the sack fumble yeah. first. Yeah. The, yeah. This is what – actually set this play up, the sack fumble by Micah. How, how fast is Micah cut? Oh, Micah closed now. Ooh, I, mean, I mean, he chasing that. And then that. here we go back, and, and Dak is under some duress, and it's just an underthrown ball. Maybe if he gets it up on top, maybe CD's got a chance up high, but it's just underthrown, and you, was, you're going to lose. And obviously, CD just whiplashes his helmet back. I've had that throat. happen. I've had that. I'm sure hey. you have. <laughs> it, it hurts. It hurts. And he's concussed. Yes. He was woozy walking off the field at halftime. So the point is, Micah makes a play, and do you capitalize? No. No. Right. You, you don't even get a field goal out of it. Even, if you get points, Skip, a game that's been dominating in the first half by Kansas City, yep. you got some momentum going into the half. Now, you do lose. Now, Kansas City is going to get the ball coming out at the half because this is what Mike McCarthy, he believes so much in his offense, Skip. He normally takes the ball. If he wins the toss, yep. he normally takes the ball because that he has confidence in his offense. I agree. Most teams defer because they want the ball coming out the second half. But Mike likes to take the ball because of his offense. He wants Dak to have the ball early. Okay. So now we get down to third quarter, still a ball game, and there's one controversial play that went against my team, one really bad call, and it's third and five at the 12. This is 9.33 left in the third quarter, and it's throw to, to Gallup at the goal line, and it's just pretty blatant pass interference, and Nobody calls it. And Joe Buck and Troy immediately said, well, that, that looks like pass interference to me because he grabbed him and held him, and Gallup was furious over it. Okay, it's, it's a bad day at the office already, and somehow the refs aren't going to give you any breaks right. anyway. If, if you get that call and you, score, you get it first and goal at the one and get a touchdown there, 
Well, all of a sudden, it, it could be 16 to 10, and it would feel a lot different than 16 to 6. Am but here, I right? But here, yeah, you're right. But we also saw Bandit Edge do the exact same thing, face guard okay, the running back, right. and that could have easily been called okay, defensive pass interference. I got it. This, this is in the end zone, so this is, this is a game changer. Are you sure you would have scored from there? And from the consider, one, consider, Considering how you guys were moving the ball yesterday, are you certain – that you're going to get the ball in the end zone. Considering Ezekiel Elliott has hit the late season wall. <laughs> he hit no wall. He just doesn't look the same anymore. <laughs> well, he, did, he just doesn't. Look at what, what happened yesterday to Zeke. Did, did he do anything? Help me not, out. Not, no, he had what, 9 for 32. Play by play? 9 to 32. 9 skip. for 32. That's 3.6 yards a carry. He looked like he was running in Cabo Man, Sand stop. to me. Am I right? <laughs> if you subtract Tony Pollard, 31 yards on a trick play, if you subtract it, my team ran 15 times for 51 yards. You like that? That's barely more than three yards per carry. Well, Skip, if you watch the game to see the way the game was played out, they were saying, you know what? We're going to take our chance. We're going to lock up outside. Y'all not running okay. the football today. What is my favorite stat about my Dallas Cowboys <laughs> under Dak Prescott? Well, when you run it, you win it. When you run it more than you pass it, they are 29-0. and zero. And silly me, when we spoke on Friday and we did our predictions, mm -hmm. I seriously thought this was the game against a – a Kansas City front that has been porous against the run. Yes. Which ranked in the 20s against the run. They've been porous against a lot of things. Okay, against a lot of <laughs> things. I just thought it's Zeke and Pollard and Pollard and Zeke and Zeke and Pollard and that they would run it and try to keep Mahomes off the field right. and try to control the clock more than they would throw it. Do you see what happened? It was 43 passes to 16 runs, mm -hmm. 43 to 16, and it was still a fairly close game. So you can't tell me you fell behind 28 to nothing, right. and then you got me. Right, you, right. You, you, okay? You're still, you're still close enough in the ballgame that you can run the ball. You're still kind of hanging in there yeah. because there's no explosion from my homeboy. There, right. it's, it's not exploding. He's not just going up and down the field. It's still a football game. But, Skip, it seems to me that, like, when they get down by two scores, and I'm not talking about 14 points, I'm not talking about 16 points, I'm talking about 10 points or nine points, it seems like they panic and they abandon the other part of their offense and yep. just says, okay, Dak, throw, throw, throw. At, 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 at nine nothing, at, at you know, 16 to yep. uh, six, you're still right in the ball game, Skip. Still right you don't game. have to go back and drop back and throw. But, Skip, I thought, that, I, I thought if you go back and look at, and I campaigned for this, I said, I love uh, uh, the, uh, the, the Chris Jones. Mm -hmm. I say, but Chris Jones can't be a defensive end. I say he's most disruptive. Well, I say did. he's extremely quick for a DT. Well, I say he's, moved him back inside he's average quick for a DN. Yep. And Skip, he whipped everybody. He gave it to Zach Martin. You know he was going to give it to the other, the center. He basically, they just moving him up to find somebody. Find a weak link and have at it, Chris Jones. And right. he showed you why I believe he's the second best defensive tackle in football behind Aaron Donald. Yesterday is why you pay a guy that kind of money. Okay, now back to the sequence in the fourth quarter. Again, should have been called pass interference okay. on Gallup, but it still leaves you fourth and five at the 12. And I thought, you drop go the mic, it? just go for it, because it just <laughs> felt like it was teetering on, we got to cash. No. Because if you cash, again, you make it 16 to 10, and instead, nah, I'm going to take the field goal, which shocked me because he is go for the throw. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, and so you make it 16 to 6. So now let's go a little later into the quarter. Let's go down to 943 left in the fourth. This is first and 10 at the Dallas 41, and he gets Cedric Wilson free. He, Dak escapes, and he has to kind of throw it off the wrong foot here. But he's escaped. He's gone for a touchdown. Dak underthrew that by yeah. about 10 yards yeah. to me. Yeah. And again, maybe he just couldn't get enough on it. Right. Maybe it's a, the, the wind is a it's, big well, Skip, it's, it's kind of hard to judge when you're moving forward. Uh, I got it. I got it. But so you're like, I don't, I don't want to overthrow him, okay. but he underthrew right. it. He this, underthrew this, it. This is another play where, where you can – you, you can turn the noise down, man. Right. If if you get this up mm -hmm. and Cedric catches it, he's capable, man. Well, yeah, he yeah. If, well, if he throws it out there, Skip, it's a touchdown. It's a touchdown. If you just get the ball up to Cedric, he's not very big, but he had a couple of yards. Right. And he had to stop and come back and right. fight just to save the interception, Correct. which he did. Yes. But but if he's free, all of a sudden, guess what the score is? Wait a second. That would have made it 19 to 16. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Well, well now. Now is it not a game? Oh, yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. Now you put the pressure really on okay. Kansas City to execute their All offense. Right. And then negative, Cedric, was in that last-ditch drive, and I don't think this would have mattered that much, but it's 224 left in the game. It's first and 10 at the Dallas 22. 
Dak threw a good ball to Cedric. They hit, hit him right in the hand. That hit coming. Yeah. You know what's coming, Skip. I know. I know. <laughs> you I know got what's it. coming. I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. You knew know. It. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. And hit him right in the hands. But you, you got to suck it up and catch this. Is it going to change the, the world? No, it's no. not going to change it because you're, you're still down 19 to 9 at that I'm point. Play cover two here. Okay. Like, uh, uh, no, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I don't want that. <laughs> Which leads to the final throw of the game, and I can't put this one on Dak because Chris Jones made another play. He, he got, got his hand up, and he got his hand on the ball. If we could see the final interception, and this closes the books on the Dallas Cowboys. And but I'm not so sure that wasn't going to be picked anyway, Skip. Because hey, I don't know. I think you look like you throwing it to 17, yeah. but Swede was going to overcut it anyway because they playing two man. It looked like they playing two trail. Yep, I got it. What they playing too? They playing straight too. Okay, so the point is, Dak Prescott had another miserable game yeah, on, on the same order of the Broncos game, which was at home against an inferior opponent. This is on the road against a superior opponent. Doesn't it remind you of the game in New England? The nine points and how the opportunities was there. You, you mean back in 2018? 2018. Yes, yes Dak. Yes, they, and or they had, Philadelphia. Yeah, when they had opportunity after opportunity, and you felt that they could just make one play, just if they could just play. get one play, now all of a sudden it's going to turn the momentum in their favor, and for whatever reason they weren't able to make that play. Uh, Skip, I thought their defense was outstanding yesterday. Once they settled down, because, you know, they hit them with the big drive right you know, right down the field, and then they come right back and get another, you know, get a, make it 9 nothing. Yep. But I thought once they settled in after that, the defense played really, really well. And uh, uh, Michael Parsons, Skip, man, I told you. I said, now, somebody, somebody you know what? They don't, a lot of people didn't really understand. What, what is, are we going to play him off the ball? Are we going to be a pass rusher? What? When you got a guy like that, Skip, just get him and let him go play football. That's what you do, son. Go attack the guy with the football. And that's what he can do. He might be leading the league in sacks if they would just put him on the edge <laughs> from you the might, start. You might be right. Because they tried to get cute with it. Yeah. Uh, we'll have him cover the back out of the backfield. Right. We'll have him, we have him dropping coverage. Yeah. What good is him dropping in coverage? Nothing. What is that going to do? Nothing. <laughs> and obviously, I'm down both my starting defense events. There's no Demarcus Lawrence. There's no Randy Gregory. And they're not going to be ready to play by Thursday. Right. And then there's no Amari. And now there's no CD for Thursday. Right. So I know the Raiders have just fallen on their faces. Yeah, somebody I, put a I hole in the that. pirate ship, Skip. It's something, sinking. Something happened, and they got rocked at home by Cincinnati yesterday. <laughs> but they are still dangerous because of the quarterback. And I just don't know that I love my chances even against the Raiders because we're just decimated. You should and feel, now we're, we're shell-shocked. You should feel good because you are at home. So that should give you some consolation. You don't have to travel. They're going to have to come to you. Skip, you probably should You should win this game now. You, okay. You're a more talented football team. You have a better quarterback. You should win this game. Now, if you lose this game, Skip, you're going to be in panic mode. Well, I, I'm already in panic mode because <laughs> then you turn around uh, one week later on a Thursday night at New Orleans, no bargain. Right. And then all of a sudden, we have not made one trip to one division foe yet. Right. So we have... Three games on the road against Washington, Giants, Philly coming up, and we got Arizona at home. No cakewalk to close. And Arizona and uh, Philly is starting to play better. They're letting Jalen Hurts run around. They're running the football. Skip, I think they had, what, 50 rushes yesterday for mm -hmm. like 250 yards? What did I tell you? Philly is the biggest threat in the East. But, uh, here hey, comes Washington. What about O'Tyler? I mean, Taylor, Taylor Heineken. You see what he did Tyler yesterday? Shannon, you got to get his name I, I, I don't I'm know why I want to make that man Tyler. He doesn't deserve got... enough respect. Yes, he does. Yes, at that one, he did. Even be Taylor. Shannon, and they keep talking about right. uh, 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 Cam went home. He's he went to home, too. Yeah, mm. he's sticking around. He's yeah. sticking around, Heineken. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show. And be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.